Paul Cezanne is mostly associated with still lifes. But Cezanne often painted portraits. He treated the human being as an object, refusing to soften his manner or to be diverted by psychological details. For him, nature, objects, and people compose a single material world, reproducible through paint. Cezanne's wife, Hortense Fiquet, was his most frequent model. Cezanne painted nearly 30 portraits of her. Hortense did not share Cezanne's passion for painting, and she preferred the bright lights of Paris to the solitude of the Provencal countryside. Nevertheless, she posed for the artist in endless sittings. Cezanne painted four oil portraits of this Italian boy in the red vest, all in different poses. In February 2008, the painting was stolen in Zurich. It was the museum's most valuable painting and was valued at $91 million. Luckily, it was recovered in Serbia in April 2012. Cezanne painted three versions of Paul and Paulette, the gardener leaning on his elbow, smoking a small white clay pipe. The artist gives him a calm, solid pose, devoid of any gesture or expression, which lends him a certain gravitas. His hat is pushed back on his head and his suit has been painted in grey tones. Gustave Geoffroy was an art critic who praised Cezanne's paintings. Cezanne delayed painting the face and hands to the last moment, and finished by leaving them incomplete. The figure of Geoffroy forms a strong triangle in the center of the painting. Unfortunately, Cezanne's gratitude gradually gave way to irritation with his subject whom he found too eclectic in his artistic tastes and too disrespectful of religion. <laughs>